We've still got more work to do with fractions. This is quite a big topic in Foundation GCSE Maths. So today we want to look at finding a fraction of an amount. I want to talk about how we do it, the method. So, say I have some fraction. We have got a number on the top and a number on the bottom. So this is the method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a number on the top and a number on the bottom. So say I've got something like... What I do is I multiply, I divide, sorry, this number here by the denominator. So step one, divide amount by denominator. Then step two is to times result by numerator. Okay, so that's the method. That's how we do this. So you can just say that now, yeah? Because I'm going to rip it off. And now we're going to work through some examples. So to find half of 50, I do 50 divided by 2, that's 25. To find one third of 24, I divide the 24 by 3, that's 8. 7 tenths of 200. I divide 200 by 10, and I get 20. And then I do 20 times 7 and get 140. That's the answer for that one. Two thirds of 75. I divide 75 by 3. I get 25. I times 25 by 2 and get 50. That's the answer. Four fifths of 50. I divide 50 by 5, I get 10, I times 10 by 4, I get 40. So the answer to that one is 40. 5 eighths of 64, I divide 64 by 8, <coughs> I get 8, and that times 8 by 5 and I get 40. 111 twelfths of 144 divide 144 by 12 I get 12 I times that by 11 that's 132 so the answer to this one here is 132. I've taken up a lot of room here, so let's move some of this out before I go on to the next part. So now I want to talk about improper fractions and mixed numbers because if you remember, I introduced that in the last video. So I want to find 5 halves of 20. Now it's the same method. I divide 20 by 2 and get 10. Now I times the 10 by 5 and get 50. Now if you want to change that to 2 and a half, what you would do here is, you would multiply this number here, out in front, by the amount here. 
So I'll do 2 times 20. And then I divide 20 by 2. I get 10. And I add these two up. Or if you prefer and don't want to work with these, change it to an improper fraction. Or if you prefer working with mixed numbers, change an improper fraction to a mixed number. So let's do one more example of that. Before we finish. Seven thirds of thirty. All could be two and a third of thirty. So same method. Thirty by three is ten. Times up by seven, I get seventy. Remember, multiply this number here by the amount. That's two times thirty which is 60. Divide the 30 by 3, because that's the amount. I get 10, add these up, 70. So see, we can use methods for both a mixed number and an improper fraction. And you can see that the methods are different, so don't get mixed up with them. But notice that they both give the same answer. That's very important. You'd never ever lose marks if you're doing an exam for a method as long as you show the examiner what it is you're doing and it gets the right answer. Because if you just leave an answer and there's no working out, they don't give you any marks because they don't know what you've done. Okay, so it doesn't matter what method you use. Any method's fine when you're doing an exam or work for your teacher, as long as you make your method clear what you're doing. Okay? So, that's basically all I want to say, and don't get confused between these two different methods. That's for improper fractions, that's for mixed numbers. Okay? So, that's it.